<laughs> hey everybody, happy hump day. Mark is being a bobblehead like the camera because I touched it and it started moving. So I hope all of you guys are having an amazing week. We are halfway through, excited, and guess what? It is a three day, three -day weekend. weekend. Long weekend. So, oh my goodness, we, we are. We go see the granddaughter. Yes, we get to go see Avery this weekend. So, very yeah, excited, excited about a three day weekend. Welcome you guys to Team Terry's Keto Kitchen. I am Renee. I'm Mark. Hashtag Team Terry. As you guys are jumping on, please say hello. Let us know where you are watching from. If you're catching the replay, drop hashtag replay. And if you're new, welcome. Welcome to Team Terry's Keto Kitchen. Mark is the one who cooks in this house and he is an amazing cook. So you guys are in the right spot. If you guys can share this out too, sharing is caring. Today we asked last week what you guys wanted to see on Keto Kitchens and you said chaffles. So I, go. I was craving pizza and that's the great thing about chaffles, you guys, is you can turn it into so many things. So if you guys can make sure that you hit that share button and if you are not already following us, touch my nose, three dots up at the top, scroll down and select follow. I'm gonna let you go, oh, and talk, you can say YouTube while I start sharing. Huh? Talk about the YouTube, oh, I forgot to do yeah. that. <clears throat> yeah, we haven't mentioned that in a while. Um, we also have a YouTube channel. It's uh, Team Terry's Keto Kitchen. Team Terry is all one word. Um, the T's are capital. Uh, and we're putting our uh, videos on there. Getting and uh, getting those all uploaded. We're, we've got some help getting that done. So we should be uh, going pretty quick here. Should have more and more recipes in there. So this is a pretty much a generic uh, chaffle recipe. Um, you can use this for not only pizza, but you can use it for any number of uh, chaffles. Um, it's a very basic um, thing. It's, it's just got uh, mozzarella cheese, it's got uh, coconut flour, um, cream cheese, and then some spices, and you're ready to go, it's, and it's very versatile. I've got a couple of my little chaffle makers here warming up. Um, one of them is like a waffle. The other one, you can it makes it more like a, uh, um, a, a hamburger bun. It's, it's kind of flatter and rounder, and I've experimented with both of them. They both turn out very well. This recipe um, will make two of these mini chaffle um, things, which we discovered last night was not enough for dinner. <laughs> so we wound up having to do something extra to, to uh, have dinner. So I've got um, a half a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese here. I've got one teaspoon of coconut flour. I'm gonna add that. I've got um, one teaspoon of softened um, cream cheese. I'm gonna put that in there. And then I've got uh, a quarter of a teaspoon of baking powder, uh, an eighth of a teaspoon of um, Italian seasoning. I've got um, an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder and a pinch of salt. And we're going to put all that in there and uh, one egg white. And then we're just going to mix this all up and we're going to put it right into our chaffles. And so. I will post that, all of that up at the top, you guys. And like Mark says, it wasn't enough. I think what one of the good things about this recipe, though, is you can actually make like five or six or seven, yeah. throw them on your baking sheet like he's going to do. Yeah. So you can still make them for a party, make them for friends. This was a really good personalized, bite-sized, well, not bite-sized, it is personalized pizza. Yeah, Remember personalized, those ones yeah. That we used to have three or four freezer? inches, yeah. Yeah. I wonder how well these would freeze. I bet, bet they would freeze very well. Yeah, you remember the little frozen ones we used to get at Costco, the pepperoni pizza? I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I remember those, and I think this would be a great way to make those ahead of time and have them in the freezer or refrigerator. Thank you guys for saying hello as you're coming on. Hey, Jeff. Hey, Shauna. Hey, Chandra. Thank you yeah, guys for jumping on. Is. You need your phone? Get the phone for the timer. Oh, okay. What time do you need supper? Um, once I put these on here, I'm going to set them for uh, okay. three, four, three minutes. Okay, I will get the timer set ready for three minutes. Hey guys, um, 
if you are wanting, I know there were some of you guys that were saying you have never even heard of Chaffles today, which kind of shocks me because it kind of overtook the internet for a while. Yeah. It was crazy. Um, but if you are wanting Chaffles recipe, I just looked up and in our group we have so many. There's probably hundreds. But There's there is a, so many things you can do with it. Yeah, there is a PDF that, or like, I don't know, that just you can just print out that has a ton of them. It's like uh, got Chaffle by the Bay. Let's see, McGriddle, keto, pizza. Yeah. Um, I, Cheddar Bay a, biscuits, like uh, like uh, Red Lobster. Yeah, there's strawberry. The Oreo. There's, <laughs> pardon me. There's yeah. There's all kinds of. Wash your hands. So if you guys are wanting in or tagged in that chaffle recipe, drop chaffle in the comments, and we will get you those because this is really easy and they're delicious and they're so versatile. If you just want something quick and easy. And yes. Everybody has eggs and cheese and yep. in your refrigerator. In your refrigerator, yeah. Okay, so I just uh, mixed that all up. I, I uh, separated it into uh, two equal parts. And we're going to put these on the uh, chaffle makers in three or four minutes and they'll be ready to go. Turn on three minutes. I, yeah, start the three minute timer if you would. And did you say explain our different chaffle makers that we have? Yes, I did. Oh, okay. I was like doing something else. I wasn't focusing. Um, grilled cheese. That's a great idea, yes, Barbara. Yes, you could do that with it. Somebody said turkey. Uh-huh. You could put any kind of ham, uh, yeah, any kind of meats in it um, and make little, make sandwiches. Um, you can, uh, I saw, um, uh, we've done a dessert um, that was a lemon. Uh, oh, it was really good. Yeah, like a lemon, lemon cake chaffle. one? It was like a lemon cake, a layered lemon cake. That yes. was really good. Thank you guys for dropping so. chaffles in the comments. I will definitely get you tagged into that. Um, it's very versatile. As everybody's saying, you can use it sandwich bread, basically, or freeze yes, it. You can make, yeah, you can make it as hamburger buns. That's what this one is, and it really came yes, out kind of cute. Yeah, this one, uh, this one you can make into it turns it into it looks like a hamburger bun. Yes. So last night I had the one that was the actual waffle. I like them kind of crunchy and crisp, the crust, and it was really good, really good. So thank you guys for saying hello as you are coming on hamburger buns. Yep. Yep. See, that is a great idea, mm -hmm. and we don't do a lot of chaffles just because. This is something we make during the week, but I think we're going to try to see about doing it as a meal prep. See what kind of meal prep ideas we can come make up a with. Bunch them. Of them. Yeah, make a bunch of them up and then uh, um, we can freeze them or, or uh, put them in the. Uh, Has anyone on uh, here uh, froze these? Everything but the bagel. Yes, I bet that would be amazing. Yes, that too. would be good too. Absolutely. And, and you know, you could actually probably take these, I don't know if you camp or glamp, but you could take them into like an RV and make uh, your. Sure. Yeah, everything you can make that the bagels yeah with them. you can make all kinds of things with them um just yeah eggs yeah. bacon on the grill and then make these uh oh we have one like in here <laughs> mark's like um how do they reheat i don't know we don't know we're we gonna find that out though yeah we eat them the first time and they're done but th um, that's on I my would, list in a microwave i'm sure they would heat up very nicely this is just your basic pizza recipe it's just got uh marinara and uh there'll be uh um, pepperoni. I've cut pepperoni up and uh, we'll put that on it. A little uh, um, mozzarella cheese and then we're going to bake it in the oven for uh, about five, I think five minutes. Yeah. Five or six minutes. Hi Marla. Yeah, five to six minutes at 400 degrees uh, just to melt the cheese and uh, give it a little crust and then they're ready to eat. And I'm telling so you, it was delicious. They were really good. Was, really I mean, good. We, had we none were both left. craving pizza. I came about that close to stopping it. Um, <laughs> me and Edge or somewhere. But that's the great thing about this, you guys. Say, make sure that you are saving it to your page so you have it really quick to find. And guess what? They're okay. done. So these are ready. You got to be a little bit careful taking them off of the uh, coffles because they are pretty. They're pretty delicate, actually. So you want to unplug those both, please? Yes. Yeah, so Lynn says she can't hear us. Everybody else, I think, can hear. Turn heat, up your volume, Lynn. <laughs> heat in the air fryer, heat in the toaster. See, you, oh yeah. my gosh, that's a great idea, you guys. See, I love it whenever you jump on and give us ideas. We could make these up and throw them in a baggie, and then you just have, because I'm a bread girl. I don't know, you guys, that was one of my hardest things with um, starting keto was I kind of missed the bread, but 
I don't anymore at all. Okay. Garlic so. pesto instead of marinara. Ooh, yes, I bet that's absolutely. good, Dawn. Yep. That is really there good. Are just, there are literally hundreds of options. Thank you guys you for do. letting us know you can hear. We appreciate you. Uh, Lynn must not have like turned the vol volume up. It was. I actually test it now before I came on. I was kind of traumatized last time. It's like we talk for two minutes and nobody can hear us. I was like, okay, well, the peanut butter cookies turned out good. I promise you guys. I see a lot of new people um, jumping on. Please make sure that you say hello and let us know where you're watching from. We love to see all the areas we're that we're, we're reaching. We're reaching. And if you're new, make sure that you hit that follow button and see our stuff first or just send us a friend request. Shauna says they freeze great. Okay. Shauna, is that the pizza or just the chaffles in general? Because if it's just the chaffles in general, I don't know. I have been craving like that Oreo chaffles things that I've mm -hmm. seen. I would love to throw some of these in the dessert um, and dessert ones in the freezer. I love fat bombs. Do not get me wrong. I absolutely love fat bombs. But um, every now and then it's nice to have something warm. Judy, what? Ha ha. Oh my God. I think I was going to say, Judy, thank you for complimenting us on our kitchen because I saw your comment that you loved our kitchen. And I think I got sidetracked. That kind of happens with me. Georgia says buffalo chicken chaffles. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys, we should come up with some Super Bowl foods with chaffles. Oh, I'm sure you could come up with a bunch of them. Because these are just kind of bite-sized. You could cut them up into little sure. pizza Sure, cut things. them in halves or quarters and just be a little grab and go. Hi, okay. Rachel from Mississippi and Kimberly from Huntington Beach. Thank you guys for saying hello. Sunny Florida. We are freezing over here in um, California. It was really cold. Okay, so I've got about, I've cut up, uh, I've had uh, six pieces of pepperoni. So I've got three, three slices of pepperoni on each pizza. I've got another half a cup of mozzarella cheese here that I'm putting on, just kind of separating it and, and just loading it up basically. Um, and then we're going to put these in the oven and um, bake them for five to six minutes and they'll be ready to go. I've also got, uh, oh, how much is this? Oh, the Parmesan. Yeah, I've got uh, one tablespoon of Parmesan cheese um, that I'm going to split between the two of them. It just gives it some added flavor. It really did too. It gave it a yeah, lot of extra I was, flavor. I was surprised how much extra flavor it really gave it. <clears throat> Kind of like we're having spaghetti because we didn't really use um, pizza sauce so you guys that's also as you can use you know the rayos yeah. um rayos, rayos does have are. they do have pizza sauce too but not at our local grocer so we just picked this up and this one is really good but it almost tastes like spaghetti too <laughs> except for the pepperoni you have to do meatballs for it to taste like real kind of spaghetti-ish i can imagine okay. and then i'm just going to top this off with about an eighth of a teaspoon on each one of uh, basil, basil seasoning. You could use uh, you could use um, fresh basil if you wanted to cut that up. I don't like to work that hard. <laughs> it's like you know we're already kind of late. Yeah. That's what happens so. whenever you work. But this is a great, um, really quick one, and I think we are going to try to make some of the pizza ones up and freeze them. That way we have them from. Um, you know, just for during the week. Yeah. Yeah, just a, a quick grab and go dinner when we're when we get home late or whatever. Okay, and there you have it. <clears throat> I've got my two uh, pizzas. I'm gonna put this in the oven for about six minutes, and it'll be done. And you know what? This is I can't use this pan. Uh oh. Switch my camera, you don't need my help. He doesn't need my help. If I go over there, they're going to end up on the floor. So I see somebody said Rayo's at Costco. I wonder, can you get the pizza sauce at Costco? I don't think so. I think it's just the marinara. I don't know. We need to find the pizza sauce. I think it's a little bit thicker, but honestly, this subs out really good. So, so you guys, I am going to um, put the recipe up in the caption and make sure that you are sharing this to your page, sharing it to your favorite keto page. We really appreciate you guys sharing. And then if you want more chaffle recipes, drop chaffle in the comments and I will get you 
tagged in that. That way you've got that because there are there's things that these people do with chocolates that I would have never even dreamed of, but I'm glad that they shared it and we can share them with you guys because this feels like a snack, a dessert, a yeah. bread. Yeah, this is good for any kind. It's absolutely. Lunch or dinner. Yes. You can make breakfast with them, do bacon and eggs on them. Ooh, I found a sugar-free yeah. maple syrup. I could probably yeah, do actual you could do that waffles too. with them. Yeah. <laughs> well, hey, think of all the things. So um, if you guys, the topple makers we got on Amazon, I'm sure a lot of you already have them, but there were some that did say they've never heard of chocolates before. And you can probably get it at Target, Walmart. Yeah, there were, this one came in a three pack. There's three different yep. three different molds inside them. Um, and it, I think it was like $40. It wasn't yeah. very expensive. No, just and, and now that the season is over, where I'm sure everybody was getting chocolate makers, you guys can probably find them anywhere. Yeah, so. they're probably anywhere now. Or you can use just double the recipe, and you can put them in a regular waffle maker. You can have a bigger one. But. See, that's why he cooks. That's why he cooks. Because <laughs> <laughs> I would have never thought of that. Anyway, you guys, we hope you have an amazing rest of your week. We are going to come on here this weekend for you guys and do some type of a live. Um, you're going to want to make sure that you are following us. So please tap my nose, three dots up at the top, scroll down, select follow, or just send us a friend request. Um, follow us for all things keto. We try to come on here twice a week to bring you guys value. Value. So if you got value from this, please drop value in the comments. Give it some love and a quick Somebody, sorry Somebody's about that. Calling Somebody and, just, who's calling in the middle of our life? It was Gail. Gail accidentally called in the middle of our life. So we're sorry about that. Hi, Gail. We'll call you back. Um, we love and appreciate all of you guys. Thanks for spending some time with us. Bye-bye. <laughs>